Hello everybody, uh, welcome to uh, Linker Online. This is uh, one of our first series. Uh, we're going to be mixing some uh, Herculite powder, Herculite LX, um, to make six moulds. So what I've pre-done here is I've marked about 100 grams of, um, sorry, 100 grams of Herculite. This is Herculite LX, this is my own special blend. LX is a lot more of a fine powder, an engineering powder, which doesn't cause any uh, expansion. So if there's no expansion, you don't get that slight curve in your moulds. So when you bring your model together, everything starts to go a little bit skew if this is what I like to use. Plus it will give you 30 minutes drying time as opposed to 10 minutes drying time for most powders. So here I've got about 100 grams of Herculite LX or the blend and about 40 um, grams here of water. So that's a ratio 40 to 100. Okay, if I want to do more moulds, just double it up 200 and 400. Put the little marks on the cups so whenever I mix it, it's always exactly the same mix, always exactly the same consistency. First thing you need to do, empty cup, pour your water in. You can discard that now, you can save that for later on to do another set. And then all you need to do, some spatula or whatever to mix your water with, and gradually start to pour your powder into the mix. And I say gradually. It's not too bad, just keep popping it in there, mix your powder up a bit more and just work your way until all the powder's gone. See bubbles appearing, sometimes it'll click in there but it's okay. Just keep working through it. And I said the good stuff about this is, once you've mixed it, you've got about 20, a good 25 minutes, maybe 30 minutes to play with it. Use cold water. If you want it to dry a little bit quicker, if you're doing a lot of moulds and you think you've got, you only need to do it in 15 minutes, lukewarm water will speed up the process. As you start to get almost all of it in, just be a little bit more gentle about your mixing. A few lumps there. Just work those in. A bit of vigorous mixing here. Still quite thin at this stage. And the good thing about this really is it is quite thin when it's done, which, which really helps to get the air bubbles out, especially when you're pouring it in the moulds. And as you'll find, getting the air bubbles out is what it's all about. There's a little bit left now, not much. And I'm starting to get a little bit thicker in there. Stir that up, make sure you've got it all mixed in there really well. And if this were normal Herculite, you'd be in a bit of a rush now because this thing's starting to go off already. Although you can't tell now, but with Herculite, you've only got six, seven, eight minutes at the most, which can be a little bit of a Squash on time. This is this has got a lot more steadier drying time, a bit more working time, which is good, especially if you just first started. Okay, There's a few air bubbles just in the top of there. I'll just let that settle down. I just tap it, so it just forces the air bubbles up to the top, and we're pretty much ready to pour. Guys, we're now on the uh, on the table where we're going to pour the Herculite that we just mixed. Um, I generally start with mould, which are the bigger pieces, only because there's a few air bubbles still on the top, very tiny. But they generally disperse a lot easier in the in the bigger pieces, and then the smaller pieces we get a nice, more consistent paste as we go through. When we're pouring, we're going to try and pour into the centres. You can see me marking the lines there. Pour into the centre and let the liquid just ease its way into the teeth. Okay, so starting with this top left corner here, nice and slowly, just drip it in, and hopefully you can see that, it's just got itself up to the teeth. 
and if we're very very slow and careful it just falls in pretty much there okay and if any of you have tried any other plasters a Herculite too where you're rushing this part but with this we can go nice and steady a little bit longer but what we're after is perfect casts You see that dripping motion just helps to push the liquid across the bottom and into the teeth. Nice and steady there. Okay. You can see these are pretty good already. I haven't even touched them yet. Slightly overfilling. Let the liquid do the work for you. It takes a bit of practice, but this is the way to do it. Okay, second one. Biggest piece first. You know the small pieces, just keep working your way across bigger pieces and we'll go a little bit quicker just so I don't bore you on the video you can see it finds its own way in there look I'm doing all the big pieces first and I'm going to leave the little pieces over here I'll show you why in a second let the big ones down first There, but there we go. Okay. Okay. So what you can do now is just give them a little wobble around, forcing all those air bubbles up to the top, making sure you've got everything into the corners. Same with these three. Okay, no sound on these small pieces. What I'm going to do is got a spatula, just a flat metal spatula. You notice I'm working on a piece of glass so everything stays nice and flat. Yeah, and just sort of tap it over. This is quite, the water's already come to the top, and the powder's heavier so it'll sink down. So I'm just going to work this across. I'm going to get it into all these little small pieces as I'm going. And because the water's come to the top, the water's the first bit to sort of go in. The powder sits over it, and then it starts to sink in. And I generally find that the smaller pieces are the, the awkward ones, really. And you've probably got a little bit too much stuff here, but that's okay. Just work your way through it. Just tap along. See a little bubble there. Just flip that out. Let it sit on the surface, that's okay. Just work your way through it. You might leave a bit of excess on there. Because you always get a layer of water which appears afterwards. So that's fine. Quite a lot on this one. I'm just going to flick a mould here, a couple of big pieces at the end. Push that into the middle of that one. Just get some of this excess off and onto there. And that's the first three. Okay, onto the second set of three moulds. Let's continue filling exactly the same way we did before. You could have mixed half of the amount if you just wanted to do three moulds at a time. I generally find six is quite nice to work with. On these two, I can pour it right on that middle bit there. Same idea, let it find its way into the holes. If you pour it over those little teeth, you're definitely going to catch air bubbles behind it. 
I'll probably leave these little chimneys and straight bits. Fill those in with what's left. Okay, middle of the window, small windows, these these are awkward ones. That's why I sort of left them a little bit later. The powder's got a little bit thicker now. I'll just tap in the middle and just help it find its way in. Middle of the window. it away. Trust me I've made enough of these moulds to know this is the way it's done. People use vibrating tables and all sorts of things which are probably fine but I find you don't really need to go to all that trouble and expense and noise. little bit thicker now. You see we have plenty of time to just keep working it through. No rushing. If any of you use plaster of Paris or Herculite or Herculite 2 and you wouldn't have had this amount of time. Everything would be already set now. And that's why you get the air bubbles in there. Awkward little corner there. Yeah, I've got more than enough liquid here. So I'm just going to hold there for a second. And same sort of thing. Just give it a little shake. side bits. You see the air bubble there, you just flick it out straight in. Another one. Next piece. Don't worry about these little pieces because you end up with millions of them. So the thing you're really trying to get is your special little window. You can just flick any air bubbles just straight out of there. And I don't really care about this door, I've got too many of them so I don't worry about that one too much. And you'll probably find you'll have one or two areas like that yourself. Okay, more than enough there. Okay, I'm just going to leave that now for about five minutes on all the moulds and then I'm going to scrape the excess off. So I'll pause the video there, just pop in a little air bubble there, there's one there. And just keep working this really, there's, there's no time to stop, you can just carry on if you want, but there's no need to really. Pretty good set of moulds there. Leave some of that over the top of there. I'm just going to wait five minutes now. Back in two minutes. Okay, we'll give that three, four, five minutes, seven, eight minutes just until it starts to go off a little bit on top. You can sort of see it starting to dull off. It's not as wet. Now you can be a little bit more exact. Just slide your knife nice and slowly and gently all the way across your mould. So you've got nice flat even backs and just roll off whatever's left. Just roll it off onto the table onto your glass table. And there you go. Okay, that's those three. Slide along to your next three. Oh, by the way, I filled another mould while they waiting for that to dry. They were a little bit of herculite left, so I just I may as well use it up on something. Sometimes you'll get seven out. 
depends on what type of moulds you fill in. Nice and gently, just one steady scrape all the way across. You probably have enough stuff here at the end to fill another mould if you wanted to. It's still soft enough to do it, but you'll probably get air bubbles. So I don't bother. Just flick it off the end. And the last one. Slide it across. Oops, a bit of a gap there. You see it's still wet enough to play with. And we're now oh, 15 minutes in probably. And there's still plenty of play in this. It's just off the edge. Just pick the air, pick the excess up. I just do it to stop everything sticking together. You can slide it around on the glass. Everything's still quite soft at this stage, so you pick one of your mold corners up, it's not going to hurt anything. Just get your excess off. And if you've got any of the, uh, the original plastic moulds, or not the rubber ones, but the plastic ones like the paths or the little bridges and stuff like that, you quite easily just put what's left in here and fill some of those small ones. But hey ho. So we're gonna wait for it to dry now. So 20 minutes, 25 minutes. I prefer to take it out when it's dry, when it's wet, not when it's dry. Everybody says overnight, but don't do that. It's so much easier to take it out when it's still um, still pretty wet, but hard enough. Okay guys, it's about 30, 35 minutes now since we put the uh, the material in it's starting to feel quite solid i like to take them out when they're a little bit wet i'm going to take the easiest one out first you've probably done a number of these before but if you haven't here we go um so this is just six square brick sides so what i'm going to do is just bend it in the middle okay and then i'm just going to use my, my finger underneath there and i'm just going to ease it back and just prise the edge away and there we go Nice and simple, nice and straightforward. There, see it's still quite wet. And this is what I like about this LX powder. It just pop out so easy. So easy. Nice and straightforward. Just flick them out, push your finger underneath, back up, and then out. You want to leave these to dry overnight, of course, probably. Yeah, a couple of days doesn't hurt anything and they'll go pretty white when they're done but this stuff's a little bit more it's got a bit of a buff colour in it and there we go it's pretty good no air bubbles down any of the corners virtually a little tiny one there but that's okay that just adds to the character but pretty good pretty good gonna work my way through that's the last one I did remember the stuff that I had to spare this one's always this castle door one's always a little bit strange to get out get that bottom corner off there first just ease that bottom corner out of there and just keep pushing slightly up with your finger underneath and there we go that's pretty good that's a pretty good mold nothing wrong with that at all pop that up there Okay, these are a little bit more gentle, these are windows. Yeah, flex it till you get your corners out and then just, just go up it a little bit. And that one's not quite coming yet, that one's out. There's the door. Okay, the windows heal up, just flick it round. That'll just ease off. There's the window. Just a tiny little air bubble here in the corner. But not a bad effort at all. Okay, these little beasts here, tiny little corners. Okay, so slightly different technique. Yeah, ease away from the, just ease the block away. A little bit of pressure in the middle, you can see that actually coming out already. Yeah, I'll lift this corner out first. There we go. makes it look easy that's the stuff it doesn't expand so it doesn't get tight in the mold it's very very loose 
very easy to come out. Okay. Slightly different with these windows here, the castle one. Press the middle there, see the middle going in. Just ease that one out, it always comes out easier. And uh, this is the door, the stone door, bottom off. That isn't the stone door, sorry, it's a castle door. Yeah. This one you always think is going to break because it's got a little squares out of it, never breaks. Really easy, just force those back out of it. I don't think I've ever broke one, watch me break one now. Okay, and that one's out. 99.9% .9 of the time these things just come out of the mould. This one's the hardest one of them all. Always is. This is the stone one. It's got a big window in the middle. You tend to get a crack down here. And I'm going to leave that one 10 more minutes and come on to some of the easier ones. Just give that one a little bit more drying time. Yeah, these will just flick out of here. Yeah, so I'm going to go a little bit quicker now. These are just the stone walls. See how quick and easy these are coming out? This stuff is absolutely great. Best mix we've ever used. A little bit gentler with that little small wall there. Put that in there. Okay. Come over to the other moulds. Yeah. They just pop out. They're just so easy. These are the uh, the roof pieces. See that? Okay. Perfect. Half roof. Full roof. And if you notice any of these, if you just slow down, I'll slow down a second. No bubbles in there. Always good, always perfect. And that's because we use a nice thin material. These are a bit awkward to get out. The end ones, I don't particularly use them, but we'll cover that in a, another video. Okay, little corner pieces. Yeah, don't worry about the little square blocks, but there they are. It's a little bit gentler when it's wet, but they come out of the moulds easier. Really, really do. And the chimneys, ooh, we love the chimneys. Very, very fine detail. Always. That one's gone, that one's broke. That one's broke. You break all the time. But you do a lot of these moulds anyway, so you only need a few. Not the squares. We'll leave the chimneys. They bust. Same piece. Exactly the same piece. I'm going to go a little bit quicker to show you how quick I can get these out. Not even having to be careful. Just flick them out there. Try and get the chimney out again. So I'm being pretty heavy handed now. See, they're just so loose in there, so that's what I like about these. Those out. And you see, we've got a nice little collection going. There's two little bars I just broke there. Might need them for something. Just keep them if you want them. And then that awkward window. I'll tell you what, I'll try that. It's a little bit wet to be honest with you. And I always get it out. Okay, where do I start? I'm going to take everything out barring those middle three. Okay, this big one first in the end. Yeah. So just push your finger in from the underneath. Get your thing and force it back. And that's the wooden door. This top one in this top corner. Use your thumbnail underneath, there's the door. The other door. Double door. Pretty good. And that space. Okay, I'm going to ignore these bottom things, I'm not really interested in them. You can mess around there if you want, check them out. Tend to come out, that's broke. Anyway, it's these I want to get out. These are the important ones for me. I said it's a little bit wet, so forgive me if these break. I don't know enough. Hmm. 
in there. That was the easiest one. Breaking my own rule there, we're going corner ways, another good corner ways. Just a little bit of backwards and forwards just to get that window out of the middle. Big window this one. This one frustrated the hell out of me for about two months. It's power work up there. It's crap you see. There you go. And it'll almost come out. See what I mean? It's a big window. I'd have left that to dry. That'd have come out. Okay. This one's just as weak on the corners. Cracked. Doesn't know my crap. I'll cover that in another video. Prove that to you. That piece always comes out easy. On the little corner of the roof. And that's pretty much it guys. There's all the pieces. Let them dry. We're tidying up on the edges and we're done. Well, there we go, guys. There's the pieces. I think you'll agree with me, they're in uh, pretty good condition. A little bit of cleaning and polishing to do, but um, when they're dry, um, they're, 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 that's a pretty good set of, uh, of casts out of the mold. We broke a couple, but you're always going to get a couple of those anyway. Um, so, if you like what you see, um, I run the website linkeronline.co.uk. Um, I set it up for enthusiasts, um, I only do it as a hobby um, and I'm trying to build the audience back for Linker um, which was founded in the 1970s and was sort of diminishing uh, really because it wasn't publicised anymore um, and trying to get it going again. So click like, uh, enjoy yourself and don't forget keep building.